Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use NEO with your Ledger wallet. So this includes sending NEO, receiving NEO, claiming your gas, and even adding custom tokens. So it'll be a little bit advanced, but I'll teach you guys how exactly to use this step by step. And in addition to this, the reason why you want to use uh, Ledger wallet with NEO is the fact that, well, the private key is always stored inside the device, which means that hackers can't really attack it unless they have the actual device. Of course, the device security is up to you guys. So do make sure you watch my other videos and read the official instructions before starting out. The video will start off by showing guys how to install the NEO app on the Ledger wallet. Then we'll continue and talk about using NEO wallet. This is a light wallet made by the City of Zion team. So let's start off by installing the app for the Ledger wallet. So if you haven't done this already, install the Ledger Manager. I'm going to send the link down below. It's a Chrome extension. So just download this on Chrome and it'll pop up on your apps page. What you want to do now is you want to open this up and connect to your Ledger Nano S and unlock it. So at this point, you should see this interface and you can just scroll down and find Neo. So I found Neo here and you just click the little down arrow key to download it onto your Ledger. Make sure you have enough space on your Ledger. This might involve deleting some other coins, but it does take a little bit of space on your Ledger. Once that has been installed, you can now go and find Neo. So it should go up here. Neo, there we go, and click the two buttons up top to enter the Neo app. So now it will say wake up Neo on your ledger. So now you need to download the Neon wallet. So for the Neo wallet, you can go to the site, I'll put that link below, or just find the download section on neo.org. Make sure you get the right site though, because you don't want to download any fake versions of this. Find, of course, I'm going to do it for Windows, but it's the way it works the same process for Macs as well. I just downloaded the latest release and I started running it. Windows Defender unfortunately prevented it because it's unrecognized. So what you have to do here is click on more information and run anyway. This is different from different win versions of Windows, but make sure you are on the official website to get your app. Once you got the wallet loaded up and running, it's going to say log in using a ledger. So click this little button on the far right hand corner and it's going to say use Ledger Nano S. So make sure, of course, if you don't see this button, then make sure that you don't have any other applications open that are using the Ledger. So then you can have a direct connection with the Ledger. But anyways, here I'm going to click that and open it up. And voila, you got Neon up and running. Now you can start receiving Neo. So this is your address for receiving both Neon, Neo and Neo gas. And also you can start sending Neo as well. So at this point, you're pretty much all set to start using this. Of course, there are some advanced features. For example, if you hold Neo for a long time, then you're going to see this button. You can claim gas every five minutes and it's just a simple click button. And when it starts running, you can just accept that and claim your gas. It's pretty easy. In this section, I'm going to teach you guys how to add custom tokens onto the Neon wallet as well. So this applies to tokens that have not yet been added to Neon. So this includes the Trinity Network token or even Ontology. So for these custom tokens, all you have to do is you can use a shortcut here, participate in a token sale and add a new token to purchase. So now you're going to see a bunch of script hashes there. So this is where the script hash and manage token section is going to appear. And what you want to do if you want to add something like Trinity, you can go and find, I'm going to send the link down below, the hash for Trinity. You can just copy that and click add new token. It's going to appear on the bottom here and I'm just going to add that on. Voila. Or you can do that for ontology as well. You can also find the ontology script hash and just add that on to Neon Wallet as well. And make sure you hit the save button. So if you don't see anything popping up, that's probably because you haven't saved it and that should work. Of course, these features are a little bit advanced. So I'm going to link some articles down below to further explain how to do it. And do know one thing special about Neo is that Neo is sent in whole units. That means you must send one Neo to someone else and you can't send 0.5 Neo or otherwise none of it will get sent. So just make sure that's one special property of Neo that it has no decimal places and you should always try to send in full units. And there we go. That's how you use Neon Wallet with N Ledger Nano S. Make sure you guys read the instructions on how to use it. I'll put some links, helpful links down below, and hopefully you can research a little bit more about how to use or send it. And if you have any other questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer that in a further video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to click that little subscribe button for more videos like this and check out the Neo interview with Da Hong Fei and some of the Neo topics presented at Neo DevCon in the links on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
See you next time.